What's up everybody, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we're taking a look at the Muppet Select Swedish Chef from Diamond Select Toys and we're going to jump right into this starting with the packaging because I like what they did here. They actually did something different than they usually do and that's pretty exciting. You have some nice graphic work here with the Muppets and then you have the Swedish Chef there in the center with all the accessories that he comes with and all of it just looks really good and I really like that you could open this up and then you get a look at the figure there. You can see some of the accessories but it's kind of blocked off by the art work here and then you get a photo of the actual chef himself which looks really cool and this is a deluxe select figure which is probably why they went with this style of packaging that's a little more complex than usual and I like that they did this so hopefully diamond select does this more uh, down the road um, their usual packaging is just big bulky and it's not collector friendly so it's pretty much garbage this is collector friendly but once you open the figure there's so many little pieces that um, it's kind of hard to get it all back in the tray if you want to so it's definitely possible but it would probably be a headache but I do like what they did here and then on the side of the box you get a look at Pepe the prawn and you could kind of see the accessories in there on the back of the box you get a look at the chef again with all kinds of cool stuff you got some more nice graphic work here on the top you have a bunch of Muppet eyes that look really really cool I think that's really creative so yeah, this packaging is really nice. I really didn't think that I'd be that impressed with it, but I'm just happy to see Diamond Select try something different. But enough about the box, let's talk about the figure. So here he is, and the sculpt on him is really nice. He was sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. You have everything that you need for the Swedish Chef. You have the bow tie there, you have the striped shirt that looks really good. And then the apron is very soft plastic, so it doesn't really get in the way, so you don't have to worry about that messing up the articulation. I'm very happy that they didn't use like a more rigid plastic here, because that could have really uh, hindered the articulation he doesn't really have that art much articulation as it is and the head sculpt is really nice too you have the big bushy eyebrows and the mustache the paint is pretty good on him except for on the nose as you could see the no the pink from the nose is kind of onto the mustache so that does kind of suck but it's not anything that i can't overlook and you can't really see it like from a distance you know it's just when you're looking up really close you could definitely tell that it's there and then you have the pattern on the pants that all looks good. And I like that the apron isn't just like bright white, you know, it looks kind of dingy. Um, same thing with the rest of the, the figure. He doesn't look super clean, you know, I know he's always in the kitchen causing chaos. So it makes more sense that he kind of looks a little bit uh, grimy, you know. So I like that they did that. And you could see all that right here on the arms. It's not like it's a bright white color. And then what else do we got going on here? The head sculpt is really nice. I like the way all that bushy hair looks. You got hair in the back here. And just everything looks cool. Then you have the apron. None of it really gets in the way. The whole thing is very soft. So I like the way that they handled that. And yeah, I think the sculpt is pretty much perfect for this guy. I can't really pinpoint anything that I think should have been different. And everything looks pretty clean except for the paint imperfection on the face area. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the sculpt and the paint on this. So this figure comes with an insane amount of accessories, so we're going to try to run through them really quickly, starting off with the table here. There's nothing really special going on with it. It's flat with four legs, so it works, but let's get into all this other crazy stuff that he comes with. So let's get into this avalanche of accessories, starting off with these pots. There's five different ones. Each one of them is a different size. And then you have these brown things, which I assume are intended to be like burnt food or food overflowing from the pots. And then he has all kinds of different frying pans, including these two big ones. And then he has two normal size frying pans. And then he has this flat deal. I believe it's like a, I don't know, like some kind of warmer. And then he has a tennis racket. Then he has a rolling pin and a hatchet. Then he has a hammer, a ladle, I believe it's called, a wooden fork a wooden spoon and then two different spatulas a mixing spoon and then he has a bunch of singing vegetables including two onions two carrots and two tomatoes he has a salt shaker or like a seasoner that kind of has a handle on the side of it and then of course he has a chicken that you could throw inside of the big pot and then now you have chicken in a basket and then finally for the figure himself, he comes with two sets of hands. Both of them are gripping hands, but they are slightly different. Uh, one set has like a looser grip and then the other set has a tighter grip so you could fit some of those smaller accessories into his hands. So there's so much going on here that I'm not going to discuss the sculpting details on every single piece, but just to give you a quick overview, the pots and the pans all have a metallic type of look to them. Same thing could be said for all these different kitchen utensils. You could see it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's definitely a metallic look to all of these different things, um, except for the wooden spoon and fork obviously those look like pieces of wood so that's really nice and even the frying pans have like a metallic kind of look to them it's a little darker but it looks very very realistic and I do like that a lot I really appreciate that they went all out with these accessories it's really really cool and even these like food things that I was trying to describe earlier have like different shades of brown and are painted really nice 
let's look at the uh, tennis racket here it looks really cool uh the the onion here has like the face it's crying how cool is that let's see if i can give you a look at the tomato here he doesn't look as sad as the onion but <laughs> check that out that's so cool and then of course there's the carrot which is sculpted very nice as well everything is just really well done i like the fact that they went all out with these accessories and they did a good job with the chicken here it's sculpted really nice originally i thought that this was just going to be like a repack of the camilla figure that came with gonzo from a couple years ago but it's actually a whole new sculpt so that is really really nice and yeah, man, I just love what they did with the accessories here. And with a little bit of work, I was able to fit everything that he came with onto the table here. And man, this is really, really nice, all the cool stuff that he came with. And I'd have to say that's probably the, the strongest point of this figure, the fact that he came with all these crazy accessories. Some of it feels like unnecessary, but if you're going to label a figure deluxe, you got to make sure that you pack it with some crazy stuff. And I like that, I, I'm sure that it was intended so that you put all this stuff on the table and it just looks like chaos, you know, all messy, how the uh, chef used it usually has his kitchen so i think that's so cool for a couple of really quick size comparisons i have the chef here along with the disney toy box mickey mouse and disney toy box yoda and then now here we have the marvel legend spider ham and the figure arts king mickey and now here we have the chef with the diamond select bunsen and beaker and now here we have the funko afternoon time darkwing duck and funko afternoon time scrooge mcduck last but not least here he is with the muppet select fozzie bear and muppet select kermit the frog and in the articulation department, he really doesn't have too much going on, but he does have enough. His head is able to move side to side. You've got a little bit of tilt to it. And you could move it kind of, you could rotate it around. You could get it to look up to about there. Not not very far, actually. You could only go down to about there. So not too much up and down. But you can, like, rotate around. You could kind of get some nice expressive poses if you mess with it a little bit. There's no torso articulation of any type. There's no waist swivel or anything like that. His arms are not on a ball-jointed shoulder. It's just, I don't know what the joint is called, but it's the one that just kind of goes into the torso there. And you can bring his arms out to the side. You can bring them all the way around. He has single-jointed elbows that have a nice bend to them. And then they also have the swivel they have a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist get them to do the splits pretty much not that you would need to but it's possible can't really bring his legs back too much you can kick him forward to about there and that's just kind of where it stops the apron's not really getting in the way it's soft plastic as i mentioned before um then he has a single jointed he's small so he's kind of hard to mess with here but he has single jointed knees and they also have a swivel and then for his feet, his feet actually have some pretty nice movement. You could swivel them to the side and you could actually get them to kind of rock, you know, so he really won't have any trouble standing. Yeah, like I said, not really much going on with the articulation, but I'm perfectly fine with it. I think he definitely has everything that you'd want out of the Swedish chef. So uh, I'm okay with the articulation. So overall, I'm really happy with this set. I think that Diamond Select did a really nice job with it. I love all of the accessories that he comes with. I love the fact that there's a bunch of goofy, weird things in there. And it's it just pretty much everything you need for the chef. And the only thing I'm worried about is losing some of those things. A minute ago, I knocked the chef over and he hit the table and, and everything went flying. And luckily, I was able to find it all. But it was all over the place. And uh, But yeah, it, it's it's almost like excessive, the amount of stuff they put in here. But, you know, for accessories, it's kind of like always it's always better to have more than less so it's pretty crazy and i think it was really smart of them to put all this stuff in there especially if they're going to call this a deluxe figure and charge a little bit more i think they definitely made it worth the extra money you pay there's so there's all kinds of crazy stuff in there i think this figure has the most accessories i've seen for like any figure at this price point so that that is really really cool so i'm very happy with this whole thing and i'm always like in a muppets mood during the holidays because my favorite christmas movie is muppets christmas carol and it's the best christmas movie ever and there is no debate anyways i'm I'm very happy to have this guy so big shout out to diamond select for sending this out to me to review i really really appreciate it and yeah i think that if you're a muppets fan you should definitely go grab this guy and i don't think you'll regret it you'll have a lot of fun with it and even though i said that he's around 30 dollars right now i saw on entertainment earth they had him for like 22 and then on ebay he was like 25 so um you know you could definitely find him out there for a really good price and he just came out so he's a really good figure definitely worth having it and uh, so i think that's it so thank you very much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and thank you very much peace